Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be recreating the makeup I wore on my graduation day and just kind of chatting with you about graduation, university as a whole, like did I enjoy it, what I enjoyed the most about it, what I hated the most about it, the graduation day in general and like graduating during 2021 like COVID times. I thought I would just sit down, talk through the makeup that I used and wore that day because I really, really loved my makeup that day. I literally, mm, I made so many good choices. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's just like get into it, I suppose. And if you're new here, we talk about all the superficial things around here. We talk about homeware, lifestyle, makeup, hair care. I'm terrible about it, but we talk about it. Skincare, like we talk about all the things, all the aesthetic things that bring us a little bit of joy in this very hard, this hard world. <laughs> in this very hard grind of a life that we all have sometimes it's nice to just talk about things that don't truly matter but they just bring us a little bit of joy so if that sounds like something that you're into hit subscribe join my little little circle my little family of trust join the inner circle hit like if you enjoy this video ring the bell do all those lovely things and yeah let's just show you what i did for graduation day i'm gonna zoom you in because i feel like then you can see my whole face so I graduated mid-July, so a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so obviously I had to wear SPF. Now, you should always wear your SPF, people. Always wear your SPF, even if it's an overcast day, because the sun can still damage your skin. Um, in England, we don't own a sun for about 50 weeks of the year. We just don't have one. Just we don't own one, okay? We, we're on another planet, we don't own a sun. So I thought I would pair my favourite, favourite moisturiser, the Dr. Hauschka Revitalising Day Lotion, and this SPF, which is SPF 50, and um, which is the Mimetica Face Sunscreen. It's just like this little pot, if my camera's gonna focus, just like this. And I really like it, so... I'm just gonna go apply that now. So for foundation, being a dry skin queen, I'm gonna have to put my hair up, I think, cause this is gonna really annoy me. I wanted something that was gonna last all day, but not make me look really dry and cakey. I wanted to kind of have a, my skin, but better all day. And of course, with graduation, there are a lot of photos being taken, a lot of photos. And that comes from professional photography in terms of you can see everything. Um, it also comes from like your parents and your friends want to take pictures with you. So I didn't want to look cake face makeup. That was just my personal preference. I didn't want it to look like I'd piled on the pounds of makeup. I wanted to look like I'd just woken up and my skin was glowy and fresh. I wanted to look fresh. I wanted to look quite minimal, but equally quite classy and quite glam, you know? So I use the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. I've got mine in the shade C1, I think this is, yeah, C1. Um, which is a little bit pale for me and I also used the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation in the shade 30NN and I mixed these because this one's a, like a pinch, like an absolute pinch too dark for me when I've got a lighter complexion and this is like a pinch too pale. Um, I like both of these foundations as they are, I think this one is really nice as a light coverage wash of colour. It's really nice like on holiday if you just wanted to rub something on your face and you just want to look a little bit nicer this one is like a nice medium to full coverage it's very buildable so yeah i mixed the two together um, i didn't actually apply primer on the day didn't apply primer i just went straight in and actually sometimes i quite like the effect of my foundation and my skin without primer so that is a pump of each just mix it in on the back of my hand lovely liquid consistency um the whole day i've got to say was quite seamless like i was expecting um like the graduation area outside which is it's always an outside area for the uh, for the university that i graduated with we were kind of all expecting it to be really crowded because in a couple of graduations of like friends and like jake's sister has graduated graduated from the same university the outside area outside like where we came out of the hall was so crowded so i was kind of i was kind of a bit nervous about what to expect in terms of volume of people yeah we were all like pretty cautious my mum my dad have been fully vaccinated jake's been fully vaccinated i have only had one vaccination it's difficult because even though you might have had two vaccinations you can still get it like i know people and someone from work um her, his girlfriend has actually got covid she's had two vaccinations and yet she felt awful still luckily she didn't need any like medical care or treatment you know from the hospital but you can still get it and it can still make you feel really really horrible so it's just like something to be cautious of and of course i just feel like this whole time i've been so careful like for the past 18 months i have been so careful to just like protect myself and others you know not just being selfish but being selfless by protecting myself and others by not going out you know um 
So it was a little bit nerve wracking in terms of not knowing how many people were going to show up and you know how many people were going to be outside. But the way my university did it, I have got to commend them. They did stagger it really, really well. Um, they broke classes up to very like minimal sections. So there was only like three classes at a time. So my class was only 10 people big, maybe a few more. Yeah, like 10 people big. Um, and there might have been a few people that were like roped into our sort of category. So, you know, there's only like 50 people max that were graduating at one time. And we were only allowed two guest tickets. Um, because of COVID and like the numbers of people they obviously wanted to minimise the amount of people which is fair enough it's pretty that uh, I was expecting that anyway so it was quite nice to see that um, there was like enough people there to make it feel like a graduation but not so crowded that it was giving me anxiety or anything um, it, it was really it was really well done apart from like when we all left the hall and basically it was all separated out all socially distanced until we all left it was like all make your way to one door at the same time it was like what was the point in that but you know you can't get everything right um we had to wear masks as well apart from when we walked across the stage um and it was all it was all filmed which was really nice it was yeah it was nice for that because obviously not everyone could come and both sets of my grandparents couldn't come and because it was gonna be so hot they were like, allowed to stand outside and watch it on a big screen that was being cast into the area but it was just gonna be too hot and there was no point in them standing around you know they're slightly older let's, let's not just say how it is i didn't want them to be in the heat and not feeling comfortable so um they both watched it on the stream at home which was nice i blew a kiss to them i was like <laughs> um just to sort of make them and myself feel like they were there and in the outside area waiting outside watching it on the big screen was jake my brother um and then lily and her mum so lily and her mum came down which they're about an hour's drive from where we live not too far but like it's still an hour's drive like it's still a bit of a drive um it was really really nice so they came down to watch me graduate which is it was really lovely and it made it like a bit more exciting as well because my best friend was there you know for concealer i used the nyx born to glow concealer this is such a lovely concealer it's one of those that i keep forgetting about it every single time that i have it in my drawers and then when i apply it, i'm like mm, damn this is a really good concealer it's like glowy and creamy but it doesn't crease very well or it doesn't like um go dry under the eyes it's really really nice i've got mine in the shade um oh here light ivory i've got mine in the light ivory i've used quite a lot of it up i have actually already got a backup because it is really really nice um but i just try to apply a very very minimal product because i like i said i didn't want to look cakey or crepey or makeup -y in any of the photos I did practice the day before um, with my makeup I just practiced a few different techniques and like what I wanted for eyeshadow and things like that so I kind of knew what I wanted but to be honest with you I'm so um, what's the word like when you're so like with one with my collection this wow <laughs> I'm so like at one with my collection I kind of know what I like and what I don't like and what like how things perform so i was really happy that everything worked out in terms of feeling confident and looking cute all day um but yeah my class is quite a small one so it was really nice that we all got to have some photos and like you know the reels where you throw your hat up in the air i'll see if i can post a photo of maybe just me or like just me and jake or something i don't feel comfortable putting me and my classmates on the screen just because um well like why should they be subject to online media if they don't want to be you know um but yeah it was a really really nice day and afterwards after graduation um there was like an interim period where we were just kind of like hanging outside for a little bit kind of wondering what was going on but i booked some professional photos to be taken um and that was like through the university um we had some professional photos photos taken i had one with me and jake one with me and my family um so my mum dad and my brother and then one of me and Lily, and then of course, of course, just one of me. I worked so, so hard um, for the past five years that it felt like such a celebration of something coming to an end as well. So um, I did finish with a 2-1, and I was really, really proud of that. For those of you that don't know, there's the um, like grading of degrees, typically. I know there's like a distinction merit thing going on, but I think that's something different. But like the usual degree grading is a first class a 2-1 a 2-2 um a third and then a pass so a first would be like an a mm, 
hang on let me work it out it's like pass is like d c is two is a third um a two two would be a, a b oh my god would be a b a two one would be an a and then a first would be an a star that's right so that's like if you wanted to work out in that sort of way i know that my parents well my dad particularly who didn't really understand the grading found it much easier to understand it when i broke it down like that um so yeah i was really really happy with a two one that's kind of what i was aiming for i was on track for that the whole time and i was just happy to finish with a grade that i was just proud of you know a lot of my classmates did get firsts which is just incredible and i'm so so happy for them um but all of us got two two ones and firsts so i was like look at us guys we're amazing i'm just gonna go into the charlotte tilbury what's it called airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder i'm sure you've seen it it's just like the charlotte tilbury press powder in the shade two this is like my summer shade and when i tell you i lightly packed this on lightly packed it on what an oxymoron i lightly pressed this on i lightly pressed this on my graduation started at 10 o'clock in the morning and i know that I am so grateful that mine was in the morning and not the afternoon. I hate waking up early. Like I hate waking up early. I am such a night owl. I'll be up till like three o'clock in the morning and then I'll happily wake up at midday the next day. Like that is me. I don't enjoy wasting my day, but my sleeping pattern is just so more like awake at night than in the morning. Um, but I woke up pretty early. I woke up at like quarter to six. Um, and I did some overnight curls. My hair wasn't straight like this. I straightened this yesterday. So my hair is very naturally straight. It has like a slight wave to it, but not like wavy. It's just like a slight, like that, that's it. Um, so I did some overnight curls, which again, I'll put a picture of me up again, see if I've got like a close up and you can see my hair. I'm not really too sure, but these overnight curls are the only curls that hold in my hair. Now I am the sort of person where I don't know if I've got it here. I know my curler's down there. I have two curling wands, a thick barrel and like a wand that's tapered, like the classic curling wand. I could curl my hair for a sort of three hours and the curls will not stay. Until I tried overnight curls and my curls stay in till the end of the evening. I don't understand it, but I love it. So I did overnight curls. If you want a tutorial on that, I'm more than happy to do that for you. Um, but if you want to know right now, go um, see Kelly Gucci's video. I'll see if I can link it down in my description bar. I followed her tutorial of overnight curls and I kind of like adapted it to be my own. Like I adap adapted her technique to fit with me and I find that it works every single time. And yeah, really, really love that technique. I use cream products on my face in terms of like my complexion. The reason for this is, is I'm a Draskin queen, you know this. And also I thought this would be easier to top up if I've got any mask lines. Like cream moves around more, yes. But powder, when you get a line in it, you really cannot buff it out as easily. So I opted for cream products because I thought I could touch them up and top them up and move them around better. And I could make myself look fresher quicker. Then if I had powder products and it was like sweating through and caking up, in my mind, cream was the way to go to look the freshest. So I went in with my Model Co contour stick. I don't know where you'd buy Model Co. Maybe on like look fantastic or feel unique, but this is a really good, um, I'd say a good comparison would be the Benefit um, Hula Cookie Stick, Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I really, really like that one, but this one was just nice and small and yes, I was that girl that took my entire makeup bag or an entire makeup bag with me to my graduation so I could top up everything and anything. I was like, if anything happens, like, can you imagine if a bird, like, pooed in my face? That would, <laughs> that is something that would happen to me, wouldn't it? It just would happen to me. I would then be well equipped to, like, redo my entire face there and then. I just know that I'm a very, I'm not going to be like, I'm an unfortunate person, but I'm a calamity Jane. Things happen to me. Um, and I feel like I don't deserve these things. <laughs> so I just, I just prepare myself for like the worst. And I'm not even a, like a glass half empty person. I just rather be prepared and not have like the anxiety of <laughs> what's going to happen if this happens. It's like, it's fine. I'm prepared. It's all good. So I just kind of went in like this. So yeah. Um, where was I at? We went to have our professional photos taken and because we didn't get any of like the after ceremony stuff in terms of like a, a glass of um, like fizz afterwards or the big group photos on the stands, which is a bit irritating that we didn't get that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we actually were allowed to, not were allowed, we were given a, a bottle of Prosecco at the end and I was like, here to the yes. 
Um, so we've given a bottle of Prosecco when we returned our gowns, which very well appreciated. Um, and we've got like mementos, like the bag with the university's crest on it, which was nice. So I've got all of my graduation cards. Like I'll give them quite a few graduation cards, like well done for graduating. And I'm gonna keep all those because I am that person. If you're the person that can throw away birthday cards of like your 21st birthday and like the Christmas cards from your grandparents, all the power to you. But I'm a hoarder and I can't get rid of anything. I literally cannot get rid of anything. The only time I can get rid of things is, you know those like silly little cards you get from like, the, not silly, but like the cute Christmas cards are like this big and you get a pack of 50 of them and like everyone sends them around and they're just cute and they don't like necessarily mean anything to you, but they're just cute at the time. Even then, even then, I still cut the front off and make like gift cards out of them. I'm a hoarder, but like a good hoarder, you know? So the whole day went pretty seamlessly and then after the graduation day we went back to my parents um, and they put on a lovely spread of food and just like nibbles um, and then they re, not redecorated but they decorated their back garden had some like happy graduation banners going on and it was just really really sweet um, and they're obviously proud as punch like they're really happy. I wasn't planning on going to university I was just planning on getting a job and you know I was on an apprenticeship or I kind of still am at the moment but on an apprenticeship and then they were like well you couldn't do this degree for five years <laughs> um so it's just like it just happened to crop up you know it's not like I went out and seeked to go do a degree um which I think apart from a few other people I was like one of the only people in my friend group that didn't go to university um Lily went to university up north which was horrible like it, well, it wasn't horrible it was great but equally I had like no one and my best friend was literally five hours away um so it was really odd when everyone went to university I did think about going when I was you know finishing college and I was going to do either like a geography degree or like an English literature degree but I just didn't really know what for like I'd just be doing a degree for the sake of a degree so I decided not to go um I did full-time working at Sainsbury's for about 18 months and I just did that whilst I was looking for something a bit more long term but just earning some money you know building up some savings and things like that you know keeping my car running um and yeah I applied for a few jobs and I actually <laughs> I actually got them all and uh, a lovely position to be in I was able to pick what I wanted to do and I went with this apprenticeship which did start off paying less than the other job that I was presented but I felt like it had better prospects in the long run so yeah it's funny how life just rolls you the dice you decide what you're gonna do sort of thing um i'm gonna go in the ColourPop stick blush in aloha i love this blush because you can keep touching it up during the day i find that my like for some reason my face just eats this blush um but i quite like that i didn't want it to be too like i said i didn't want it to be too cakey i'd rather be able to touch my makeup up during the day and freshen up without having lots of crusty makeup all over me um so yeah, we went back, had some lovely, lovely sandwiches and it was my um, mum's parents and my grandparents and my dad's mum. Unfortunately, my granddad wasn't very well at the time. So um, I, we, like I phoned him and I've like taken loads of pictures and things like that. But you, it, it is what it is. He's getting better. <laughs> I didn't really want him out with me if it meant that he wasn't getting better. So that was that and Lily and her mum were there and obviously Jake and my parents and my brother so it was just like a really low-key lovely time in the garden weather was absolutely stunning like absolutely stunning um and it was just like a really nice afternoon it was just lovely for highlight I went into one of my favorite formulas of cream um uh, highlighter it's the super shock highlighter by Colourpop and this is in the shade on the cusp I think this is a Kathleen Knight's collaboration but like look how beautiful this was I would have gone in flexitarian but flexitarian is like slightly slutty like I, it, in a good way it's like a slutty highlighter um, and see where my skin is shining off now that's like the natural point where the light hits I just bounced my finger and I really love applying these with my fingers like I just think they look so sheeny and stunning and like glossy without looking metallic and glittery there's a time and place for that and I, I do love metallic and glittery sometimes but I wanted to look really fresh almost kind of like bridal makeup that's how I was pretending to do it you know I wanted a bridal 
sort of makeup look that was going to look beautiful in pictures and timeless. I love colourful eyeshadow and colourful lips and colourful makeup and bold blush and I don't care, you know, like I love it. But I do, and I am very aware <laughs> that sometimes I look back at pictures and I was like, oh god damn, that was clearly a trend, that was clearly a trend. But I feel like timeless classic makeup isn't a trend, you know, if you're just enhancing your natural features and making yourself look really nice and fresh, then that's that's timeless. So that's kind of what I was going for, um, for like my whole look, my whole makeup look. My mum was cracking up. She was like, I swear to God, makeup wouldn't even be on my agenda of things to think about. She was like, I'd be thinking about what shoes I'm wearing. And there was me, I was like, I don't care what shoes I'm wearing. I'm thinking about the highlight I'm gonna wear. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it was really nice. I just wanted everything to wear nicely, go nicely. I had a lovely spotty white dress. Again, you'd have seen in the pictures that I've been blushing up. But I had a lovely white spotty dress with just some black, like nice shiny little shoes. Um, I didn't wear heels because uh, my shoes, like half my shoes think I'm dead because I haven't worn anything but like the same pair of trainers and slippers for the past 18 months. So I absolutely was not going to make the first time wearing high heels my graduation day, you know, like that just was not happening. I used my very trusty dusty um, Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. It's just a windy uppy one. I need to get a backup of this, but every single time I go on the website, they're out of stock and it's slightly breaking my heart. Like it's slightly telling, it's getting a bit offensive. It's getting a bit offensive. So um, I'm just gonna go do my brows off camera. I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Clear Brow Gel just to set it all in place, but I mean, they're just brows. It's nothing like artistic. And I can't talk while I do my brows because I like concentrate. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, brows done. As you can see, I just literally followed the shape of my natural brow. I didn't try to make them look blocky. I just went for a literal, no gradient or anything like that. No feathery or no um, like fashionable brow. I just went for how I think my brows look the nicest at the moment in my, at the point of this time in my life um, is just to do an underline, just to kind of shape them and then fluff them out nicely, but not too bushy, just nice. And I like that raw product, the Dope Taupe, because I feel like it matches my root the nicest. And I feel like when you look at my face and it frames my face nicely, they don't look too makeup-y, which that's like the whole day. I was trying to not look too makeup-y. For eyeshadow, I used the Colourpop So Jaded palette. It's interesting, I have so many expensive eyeshadow palettes and makeup and I went for pretty affordable things like half of this stuff is Colourpop okay I went for a Charlotte Tilbury powder because that is the best pressed powder but there's a lot of things you know like eyeshadow I have like 100 pound eyeshadow palettes and I went for something that's like literally 15 quid but this is stunning um I really wanted on the day something quite natural but not natural to the point where you wouldn't notice it I wanted something quite smoky but not too dark so in the end I kind of just went for a bit of a smoky taupe situation. I first went into rose quartz. I also, by the way, did not paint my nails for my day. I mean, I did for my day, it literally sounds like a wedding. I did just have like a nice rosy, like light wash color, almost like, you know when you have a French manicure, uh, not that I've ever had one, but you know, it's literally like pink and white. I had that sort of pale pink, like you could still see my nails underneath, but it just made it look a little bit glossier in terms of just healthier nail bed. Um, that's all I had on my nails and I'm quite glad because when I had my professional photos done um, in terms of like holding the scroll, again it just comes back to that thing of not, I didn't want to look at my graduation photos and be like why did I decide to wear bright purple nail polish or you know like why did I decide to do like crazy nail art, that's all I can see. I just wanted them to be the most timeless and like a photo that I'd look at and not hate anything about you know. Um, so yeah, also I was like really, really lucky that my skin was loving me that week. I was so cautious to not try out any new skincare, um, to just look after it, make sure that I was toning every evening so I didn't have like excess sebum build up. Um, I had like one pimple. I get pimples around my lips for some reason. I think it's just because of masks. I'm not getting them so often now, but like on my upper lip and like just around here, I was getting like pimples. They're not like juicy spots, but they were pimples. Um, but I used one of my zit sticker spots, which if you've been around here for any period of time, you'd know that I'd love the zit sticker. Um, here they are. These ones here, the zit killer patches. The, yeah, zit sticker killer micro dark patches for the early stage zits. Bloody expensive, bloody expensive. But you know, 
when you need them you need them and they work and it just takes away like that red inflammation so I only had to use one of those like two days before and then the spot was gone so that was all good it's quite funny though because some of my friends are like what foundation should I wear like and I just said to them don't try like if this is my tip for anyone and well, obviously it's kind of too late now for graduating this year but if you're going to be graduating next year or if you're going to go to university or it's just like any makeup where you know you're going to have your photo taken or just like event makeup my suggestion to you would be not to try anything new don't try anything new also you might think your skin looks really great in a mirror or you might think it looks really great when you've like first done it but go for the makeup that's gonna make you look pretty without looking I mean obviously each to their own this is just my personal advice would be to not go cake face go with what you know um, prep your skin nicely so your skin is nicely hydrated or if you're oily person still hydrate your skin because you know you should be hydrating your skin make sure you've got your SPF on make sure all of these products mesh well with each other don't take any chances because I can tell you one thing I as a makeup lover know that when my makeup is looking crusty and dusty after three hours of wear I don't feel confident and I don't really want people taking like photos up close of my face because I'm like I look like a greasy butthole or I look like a crepe like crepey cake you know um so just feeling confident I think is a massive thing it's quite interesting on the day there were some interesting outfit choices let me just tell you I'm not a very fashionable person I enjoy I enjoy looking at fashion and I enjoy um, kind of observing what's trending and things like that I really do enjoy that however I'm not the sort of person to be jumping on trends in terms of what I wear I just I don't feel like my body shape or like I can't carry off I don't feel confident carrying off very trendy things Lily however my best friend Lil she is like a trendy mofo she will wear something and I'm like how does she pull that off of her like it's amazing but I just don't feel confident in that sort of thing. But anyway, I'm saying that because I'm not one to judge. But blimey, there were some interesting dress choices from some of the ladies on graduation day. My goodness. I'm gonna go into the shade Geodude, which is like a slightly more golden tone of this, but it's just gonna balance out and not make it look so pink and more like neutral. But yeah, there were some girls, I tell you, and I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna focus that not so much up high, but more like pointing this way rather than that way, as opposed to the other color. It would just make it look less muddy. But yeah, some of these girls were honestly, there were like boobs hanging out. There was some like a little bit of muffle hanging out. You know what I'm trying to say? Like there's a little bit of everything hanging out from some of these girls. And I was like, oh, I feel like I really, it's interesting. Like even from, like when I think back to it, like 18, I was 18 six years ago. Like six years isn't a long time, you know? Like it's not really a long time. And what have I done in six years? You know, I've done a lot, but am I a different person? And it's like, interesting because I think I'm a very different person to who I was six years ago and it's scary isn't it how you can be such a different person than you were like and I think that's a good thing by the way I think that's a good thing to be ever changing and ever growing I think it like being a different person shows growth um whether that be good growth or negative growth I think it just shows growth and I used to be the person that was like I want to look really good like I want to look sexy not like sexy as in a sex appeal but I just wanted to look and feel sexy now I'm like I want to be comfortable and I want to look cute <laughs> and I could tell that some of these girls were in that phase of I want to feel sexy I want to look sexy and oh my god each to your own if you feel sexy and you feel beautiful you go girl you carry on for your life I just know that in my mind if I was wearing some of these dresses that some of these girls were wearing I was like I would have just felt self-conscious I would have got up and I'd have been like yeah I feel sexy and then as soon as people were in front of me I'd be like ugh my entire downstairs is on show to all these people and like some people were walking across the stage or like having their photos done holding their dress so that their cleavage wasn't showing and I was like well clearly you're not comfortable so why are you wearing that dress like at what point did you think that was a good idea <laughs> and unfortunately it is evident and like you know it's one of those things where people are like oh why did you wear that you know why didn't you just feel dare I say it why don't you just feel a little bit conservative you know why don't you just get in a pretty dress that was nice on your body that didn't show half of your skin I mean like I said everyone's entitled to do what the hell they want to do like it's literally each to their own if you want to go in like a bandeau dress literally the only thing covered is your nipples your belly button your foo-foo you go for your life girl you crack on but it just made me sad seeing some of these girls clearly uncomfortable in what they had chosen to wear and I was like Honey, I've got Spanx on underneath this. 
<laughs> my idea of like comfort was now I will be receiving chub rub um, approximately one hour into wearing it, whatever I wear so I must wear Spanx um, so you know <laughs> Don't be afraid to be comfortable because I tell you what I felt so confident because I was comfortable I didn't feel like I had to cover up anything. I felt like I wanted to be like boom. This is me um, Rather than going Ugh, Don't look at me is my tit hanging out like I don't have that problem anyway, but like you know, it's just one of those things where It's just interesting to see what people choose to wear and you know what they appear to look like I mean there was this one girl Wowie she was she was trying to own that place, I tell you. She came in a full white power suit, getting in on everyone's photos. Like, getting in on everyone's photos. It was hilarious, because I looked back at some of the photos my mum had taken on her phone. And I was like, oh, airdrop them to me. And I was looking at them, and I was like, who is this girl? And like, <laughs> I was zooming in, I was like, who is this person? My mum was like, is she not in your class? I was like, I've never met her in my life. And she was like, getting in on our group photos, which is fine, but then equally I was like, I'm gonna have to crop you out girl like get out of my group photo um you know I don't mind if it's just the one but she was like trying to get in on everything um I mean fair enough we didn't like push her away we were like okay fair enough if that's what you want to do but yeah she was like taking full-on like pussy stunt photos and like videos in front of the hall where we graduated it was very interesting to see it was very interesting to see. Lily was like, I wonder if they're just shooting promotional photos for the uni, you know, like for their uni, um, like campus, what they called like leaflets and stuff. And I was like, no, it's just a student. And she is, you know, she is slaying for her life. I'm gonna go into Smoky Quartz. This one right here is like a lovely silvery taupe shade, which is exactly what I was looking for. Like that slightly cool, slightly neutral look. And I literally just, smacked this all across my lid girl smacked it all across my lid i've got to say if you're thinking about going to university and you like i've always thought about going you should definitely go because you do feel better coming out of it you're like wow i did this i did this um i was never a resident at my university because i didn't need to be i'm literally 20 minute drive away so why would i need to be a resident of somewhere that i'm 20 minutes away i just don't need that um but i still felt like i had the uni experience in terms of I don't know like you know doing all the courses and stuff like that and still being on campus um obviously like covid took away from the last year not gonna lie doing a degree whilst working at home and doing zoom calls and things like that was really quite difficult um and it really takes a certain level of motivation to to sort of keep going because you're not going to university or just turning your laptop on so I don't know there was like points where I really felt like I couldn't be bothered I didn't care what grade I was gonna get I just was like oh let's just get this done and over with and then towards the end so like my final dissertation piece I don't think I've ever given so much um commitment to something in my entire life I threw myself at it I didn't sleep didn't eat which isn't healthy can I just can I just add I was just absolutely on it I didn't want to stop until I felt like I couldn't type anymore and you know I'm really proud of myself because I feel like if I didn't do that I'd have probably finished with a grade lower if I'm really honest like I probably like my first couple of years at the university I was probably didn't have like, like I had a good attitude but I didn't push myself enough and that was probably what I'd advise is if you're going to university push yourself the hardest you can go like yes it is tough yes at points i was like i'm gonna throw myself down the stairs and jake was like i don't know if you're joking or not and i was like neither do i and that's just like real talk you know it is stressful it is difficult i have never cried so much and i'm not even a crying sort of person i, I rarely cry i have never cried so much this year than i have in my entire life i have never cried so much um but now i'm like <laughs> oh i didn't cry that much but i did <laughs> I did <laughs> it was awful because it was such hard work and I wanted to do well so I don't know I think like the uni experience is different for everyone if you are a very smart person like I know there's a few people in my class that are just very naturally clever and maybe they did struggle more than I did I don't know maybe they didn't maybe they struggled just the same but didn't show it but I am not a very like academic person in the sense of I just feel like I always fail to really understand what the question is and how to answer it properly. Whereas if you asked me to 
talk you through it or like write a process down I'm like oh yeah I know that but like as soon as you ask me and I know it's being examined I'm going into rose quartz by the way just to blend it out I just like forget everything and I'm such like an idiot and that's that's how I felt so I really threw myself into a dissertation piece um, and like we did a project as well I really threw myself into it making sure I ticked every single box so that fundamentally whatever grade I got even if it was like a third or a pass I'd still be proud of me for doing the best that I could I really didn't want to finish five years of university and go I wish I tried harder because even now at the age of 24 I still feel like that about my GCSEs I think to myself I wish I tried harder and I know that's like hindsight's a great thing but I really really like as an adult I didn't want to feel that way about my degree at least I did the best I possibly could and I feel like I did do that I could have pushed myself harder but I just didn't in the earlier years I could have got first I could have scraped it by a little bit but I just didn't so I'm still proud of myself and I think with whatever grade you get at the end of it as long as you've tried your hardest I think you can be so proud of yourself I think as long as you put the dedication and time into it no one is ever going to ask you what you got in your degree they're going to see that you got a degree you got through it and you should be proud of yourself for that. I'm gonna go into the shade Stoned, which is this lovely cool toned, like neutral leaning, well no, cool toned brown, just to deepen up the outer corners. It's amazing that if I had chosen to go to uni all those times ago, um, all those years ago, sorry, and I decided to do English literature or geography, I wouldn't be, I probably wouldn't be doing this now. I probably would be having different friends and I'd be having a different job or I might not even have a job at the moment. You know, it's just all these things like, it's amazing what life presents you and almost like the butterfly effect if you choose something what happens like your life like what would my life be like if i chose to go to university at the same time as all my friends did all those years ago where would i be what would i be doing it's just it's it's, it's interesting it's like food for thought sometimes so um yeah you know if you're thinking about doing a degree you've got to do it if you want to do it and it feels right i chose not to do a degree um, when I left college unlike a lot of people and I kind of found my own way and yeah I was like working at Sainsbury's and I was like I know this is what I don't want to do for the rest of my life but I don't know what I want to do and I just think you have to follow your gut but equally whilst following your gut push yourself out of your comfort zone you can't live in your comfort zone if you live in your comfort zone you're only ever going to get so far and like that's the truth of the matter you can't there's only so much progression you're ever going to have in life if you don't push yourself that one step further and go oh i don't like this oh I'm, I'm a bit nervous you have to push yourself so yeah it's i'm glad i did my degree finally i'm just gonna go into diamond this is actually a super shock shadow you can probably see the texture of it i'm gonna go into diamond and put this in my inner corners and a touch on my brow bone as well i'll do my mascara in a second but i went into the mac lip liner in strip down now for my lips i tend to get and i don't know if it's just me it probably isn't let's be honest and i guess i'm not the anomaly um i get a butthole lips <laughs> really bad where well, lipstick builds up here if it's got too much white base in it um i've just got bloody lipstick on my chin amazing i decided to just fill in the perimeter of my lips with lip liner and go in with the gloss brave choice i know because mask season however i chose to do this so that the lip line would stay without getting smeared and that way i could correct it with just a lip liner instead of like trying to sort out a whole lip situation um sometimes i feel like if you get butthole lips it can just make you look so gross or well, it makes me look so gross um and I didn't overline too much. And then I went in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow, the original one. This is kind of like the terracotta um, one. I can't remember if I use this one or Fussy, but I think it was this one. This is my favourite gloss. I, of course, set my entire foundation base, everything, with my trusty, dusty Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I also curled my lashes. I decided to not wear any false lashes on the day i do love a false lash i really really do however i did not want to have photos of me with a lash popping off i would have regretted everything i also used the essence lash princess mascara in volume um this isn't like a favorite mascara by any means but i tried it out a few days before and i recognized that it didn't fall out under my eyes or anything like that i didn't want like a, a black ring under my eyes in my photos can you imagine i would have been so upset so and also it was really really hot and sweaty that day so i was going to go for waterproof mascara but i didn't actually have one that was that in date 
like I'd have wanted to swim in but I didn't really want to wear an out of date mascara in case it made my eyes itchy and red so I went with the Essence Lash Princess I actually do really like these mascaras they are really really nice of course the finishing touch you can't graduate without a lovely mortarboard I do feel like I've joined some esteemed cult I've got to say so yeah I had curly hair just so my hair wasn't flat like this because I do find that I can look a bit <clears throat> if my hair's flat in some photos I don't know I just didn't really want to chance that so I had it nice and curly um and I really really liked that I think that's it that's all I have to say this is my makeup that I wore to graduation day should I do a little bit of an up close for you this is what it looked like by the end of it I really liked it I thought it was nice I thought it was nice and fresh I felt confident it felt cute I didn't feel too crazy it didn't feel like the makeup was taking over my face if you were going to graduate um this isn't actually the fan i took with me but my recommendation would be to take a fan with you because my gosh it was so hot in that graduation theater hall place and i was fanning away darling fanning away till i sweat no more um so definitely recommend a fan also i took a little bottle of water just to have that and i just gave my bag to jake to wait outside with so it was a really nice day i'm really glad, glad i've graduated obviously now that that is over uh like if you've been here for a short while you'd probably know that i was like oh my degree is taking over my life i never have time for anything it's the truth okay it is the truth it does usurp your soul and any free time that you have it's worth it in the end but it does drain <laughs> you as a person um but now i have some more free time again and i'm like back into the swing of filming and it feels so good this is like my favorite hobby and i really love interacting with you guys i've got more time now to do this and that's so super super good um you know as of like basically the beginning of next year i will just have a job like i will just have a job to do and then i can come home and have a weekend <sighs> Like, I've not had a weekend free this entire year. For this entire year, I've had to at some point log on to my computer to do either uni work, work work, apprenticeship work. So I just don't know, I just don't think I'm going to know myself, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. So if you've got any questions about graduation, or you've got any questions about just like uni in general, I can definitely do like a, a chatty get ready with me, like a Q&A for like education uni things if you want that then i'm more than happy to do that or if not if it's just a couple of questions then we can definitely just answer them down in the comments i could do that as well um but yeah i'll be happy to answer them for you because i feel like sometimes it's helpful knowing other people's experience obviously i haven't really talked about my degree too much because i don't want to bore you to death i've just been chatting around the day and my general who are i finished um but if you want me to go into more depth i definitely can do um but that's about it if you fancy doing a degree, you go do it, girl. Or boy, you go do it. Um, mm. That's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate you. Thumbs this video up if you have enjoyed. Like I said, engage with me down below if you have any questions. If you'd like more, like you want a video of me talking more in depth about university, like the whole process and what to expect, things like that. If you'd like that, I will film that for you because I think that could be helpful if you'd like it. If not, I'm more than happy to just answer any questions you've got down below if you have any, or to talk about the makeup I wore, why I chose a £20 eyeshadow palette over like my Natasha Denona palettes, why I chose to go neutral over colourful. If you care about any of those things, I'm more than happy to engage. My favourite part is talking to you guys down below. So please do engage with me down there because I'd love to talk to you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all of the videos I upload. I upload every single week. Anyone want to miss out on more content from me? No, you would not. No, you would not. Come join my inner circle, my circle of trust, my big warm hug of peoples. Come join them. Thank you guys for watching once again. Take care. Stay safe. Whatever you do. Have a lovely day at whatever time of day it is. Yep. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.